I think there's areas of common ground in the things that you that you mentioned. Uh, defense spending, you know, how do we stop the sequestration from occurring? You know, what are ways to at least maybe alleviate that sequestration, which is a terrible way of budgeting. Uh, you know, the highway bill, what are we going to do about infrastructure? The disagreements are going to come from the funding of it. I might point out that the president's budget last year was, in, in many cases, largely the same as what he had this year, and not a single Democrat in the House of Representatives voted for his budget. So uh, is this a serious budget? Probably not. Is this a starting point? Maybe so. Maybe it gives us an opportunity to have a discussion. But let me just say, you know, we've tried the higher taxes on the wealthy. We had that with the fiscal cliff a few years ago, which I voted for. I did raise taxes on people that made over a million dollars. Um, didn't do anything dramatic to close the deficit. We've seen a rapid dec decline of the deficit, but that's because of some of the spending restraints we've put in. So I think there's areas we may be able to work together. But I would encourage the president uh, that, look, you know, the American people spoke loudly. We won the House. We won the Senate. And uh, he needs to recognize that and find areas where he can work with us to move forward for the American people. And tax reform may be one of those big ones. And, and also, as you said earlier, trade. trade That's right. Agreements. Trade also. So trade. if we can do trade and maybe delve into tax reform, I think that would be great for our country.